In physics, a cloud chamber is a particle detector that serves to detect ionizing radiation and, for some particles, also makes their path visible. There are two types of cloud chambers, the continuous cloud chamber and the expansion cloud chamber. In the continuous cloud chamber, cooling is done with dry ice or liquid nitrogen, the use of a compressor, or cooling of the detection surface with Peltier elements. In the expansion cloud chamber, the necessary cooling is provided by the rapid expansion of the gases in the cloud chamber. The only disadvantage of the expansion cloud chamber is that the particle paths can only be seen for fractions of a second. However, this is no longer a problem today. One simply films the complete process and then extracts individual images. The expansion cloud chamber was invented in 1911 by Scottish physicist Charles Thomson Rees Wilson. In 1927, he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics for his work. So what we are basically doing here is reproducing a Nobel Prize work. As a chamber, I use a PVC sleeve with an inner diameter of 75 mm and an outer diameter of 90 mm. 4 M3 threads have to be cut into the sleeve to fix the plexiglass disc with a diameter of 100 mm and a thickness of 6 mm. For this purpose, I have drawn and printed out corresponding drilling templates. After marking the four holes with a scriber needle, I deepen them a bit with a 2mm drill bit. Using my drill press, the holes were then enlarged to 2.4mm. The depth of the holes should be 12mm. I then cut the M3 threads. The next step was to drill the holes in a plexiglass disc. It is important not to remove the protective foil yet. The plexiglass disc was then temporarily screwed to the sleeve to see if everything would fit. After marking the cutting edge, the sleeve was shortened to 41 mm with a hacksaw. Using sandpaper of various grit sizes, both ends were ground flat. Finally, I cleaned the chamber with isopropanol. The plexiglass disc which is made of polymethyl methacrylate, must not come into contact with ethyl alcohol under any circumstances, otherwise, stress corrosion cracking will occur. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.